gentlemen, welcome once again to the People's Forum of In the Streets with Big Stone. Today I'm going to talk about our iconic artists. And I'm talking about the legacy of a Toots Ibbots, our Robert Nesta Marley, our Jimmy Cliff. We're talking about iconic artists that have done many, many, many work, but yet still they're extremely poor. Recently, there was a case about one such artist, a 64-year-old woman by the name of Yvonne Sterling. Now, Yvonne Sterling might not ring a bell to these youngsters, but Yvonne Sterling is an household name all over the world because she has done the work. She has done the work. So I'm appealing to the Honorable Babsy Grange. It is your portfolio, Miss Grange to reach out to these publishers, these producers who are withholding funds for artists such as Yvonne Sterling. Look at what they did to Junior Biles and there are many more artists out there like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just gonna play four of Yvonne Sterling's song because as we speak, we have to pick up Little Lenny we have to pick up the Rudolph Prendigas Foundation because today we went and we assisted her. You can go to YouTube and see the Yvonne Sterling story. But ladies and gentlemen, she had recorded iconic songs. She did a particular song with Dennis Emmanuel Brown. Can you imagine recording a massive song? With Dennis Emmanuel Brown and you're living in a dilapidated house in New Haven. Can you imagine that? Look at the wealth of music that Dennis Brown has given to the world. Please, Honorable Babsy Grinch, intervene. Please, Mr. Prime Minister, intervene. The government must be able to do something in retrieving what is rightfully ours. These music of made a lot of people other than Jamaican very wealthy. They charge a lot of money in Euro and Pound. Please, please reach out and help these artists before they die. Most of them are very rich. Most of them don't need handouts. Most of them don't need a GoFundMe. But ladies and gentlemen, they are at a state where mentally they cannot look out for themselves. Yvonne Sterling still got her faculties. She's still intelligent. She's still alive. But she need help. And her music, as she have done so many off, should be able to take care of her till her dying days and then her next of kin. So without further ado, I'm going to play a song, Your Reward, by Dennis Emmanuel Brown and the legendary iconic Yvonne Sterling. Let's take a listen. Listen to this. If Ann Sterling and Dennis Emmanuel Brown, there's a reward. Yvonne Sterling and Dennis Emmanuel Brown and yet still she lived in a dilapidated house in New Haven with such a monster it. Yvonne Sterling I promise you in your lifetime there will be a reward for you. Take a listen. <laughs> Thank you. 
Gentlemen, I want you to comment in the comment section. I want you to appeal to the Honorable Babs Grange. She's doing a remarkable job, but she has the power to do it. Miss Grange, please intervene. Intervene with your artists. Please, you're making a nice uh, monument for all the artists who passed away. Let's try to reach out to the artists that are still alive but they value millions. And guess what? Other people are spending their money. Other people are utilizing their wealth and they live in squalor. Let's go back to the very first song. I'm gonna close out now. Please like, share this video and make a comment. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I think now is the time to do so. Work now, work you know. Yvonne, your reward. It's great. It must be a reward for you because you did what you're supposed to do. You came, you saw, and you conquered. Dennis Emmanuel Brown and the princess of reggae music, Yvonne Sterling. Let's take another listen. <laughs>
a big stone sesame.